Salam Satu Malaysia, Wanakam. Me Nalini Armugam again. Today we are going to discuss on industry and competitive analysis. We already done our feasibility analysis. So the next step as an entrepreneur, they need to know about the industry as well as about the competitor. Why I need to know about the industry? Simply because I want to know about my strengths and my weaknesses. Beside that, I need also to know about my competitor means that what the competitors are giving to the market. What are the threats that I need to face and what are the opportunities that are available for me to make myself unique in the market. Okay, let us look into the objective of this today chapters. Okay, first we are going to explain about the purpose of an industry analysis. Second, we are going to explain about the purpose of competitor analysis and third, we are going to explain on how to conduct and prepare the competitive analysis. So, let us define the term of industry. What mean by industry? Industry is defined as a group of firms whose product and services are close substitute of each other. Industry also primarily classified according to the number of sellers involved and the degree of product differentiation. Normally, we classify the industry into four main elements or four main category that is monopoly where you only got one buyer, uh, oligopoly, monopolistic competition and pure competition. Okay, so as, your, as an entrepreneur, you should know which industry you are playing with. Are you a player in monopoly? Are you a player in oligopoly? Are you a player on monopolistic competition? Or are you entering the pure competition market? You need to know and you need to understand the structure of market as well. This industry analysis will help you, me and whoever going to conduct a business to execute determine arena in which their firms compete. It's easily for us to understand who are our direct competitor, who are our indirect competitor, who are going to be our future competitor. Besides that, industry analysis also focus on attention on firms, competitors, as I mentioned earlier. Industry analysis also will help executive determine key factors for success. And it also gives us executives another basis on which to evaluate their firm's goal. So there is a serious need for industrial anal analysis. Before I carried out industry analysis, me or yourself, or as an entrepreneur, you should answer seven questions. First, what are the industry dominant economic threats? Second, what competitive forces are at work in the industry and how strong are they? Third, what are the forces of change in the industry and what impact will they have? Fourth, which companies are in the strongest or weakest competitive position? Who is likely to make what competitive move next? What key factor will determine success or failure of my startup business? And last not least, how attractive is the industry in terms of its prospects for above average profitability? So how I'm going to analyze my industry? There is two ways or two methods. One, you study about the environmental or the business trend. Second, the classic method that normally all the business people will use is using the five competitive forces model. Okay, as I mentioned earlier, we have to analyze the trend, the current trend in business environment. To look into this current trend, we have uh, two levels. So one is industrial level and second will be the macro level. When we talk about macro level is uh, a, a bit huge. So under macro level or external, uh, look into external industry, we we'll normally look into the element of economy, social, political or legal, technological aspect, global aspect and demographic aspect. That is we call as a macro level. 
when we talk about industry level so who will be our competitors what are the substitutes are available in the market who are going to be a my customer who are going to be my supplier that is the industry level so here we need to like observe do observation survey or uh, uh, secondary method where you can collect data and analyze the trend ongoing trend in the business environment okay uh, in this slide we will look into the elements the environmental trends on various industry okay if we talk about demographic now currently there is a much of aging population so what i can offer to this aging population people what type of maybe they want to go for a vacation so that will be a uh, new service that we, i can offer to this elderly people okay how to uh, if we talk about social uh, cultural group uh, now more human are working in the workforce so due to that they need a lot of instant cooking stuff to prepare meal for the family so if we look into the political and legal issues what regulation like like in malaysia most of our uh, food items should have halal la- logo that is there is a must to get a justification from jakim so these are the trend is going on in the market or in the industry okay so as entrepreneurs you should valueers or understand try to uh, analyze what really the market needs or what the customer needs then you offer that service or product that really needed by the customer in the market okay now let us talk about the five competitive forces model okay in five competitive forces model of course there is five forces okay first is industry uh, we talk about industry we talk about supplier we talk about buyer we talk about new entrants new people who are going to join us in the market and we talk about substitute by analyzing this i know where i stand and how i'm going to compete with my uh, near friend or near competitor okay uh, if we look into the model there is a element of threat of new entrants so uh, that threat of new entrants essentially talk about how hard is it for other firms to enter your business okay do you have ip protection trade secret extra tra that everyone else does not have is there is a significant cost associated with entering your market are there regulatory barriers branding marketing advertising is existing in your market does one firm enjoy a production cost advantage there is high switching cost so that will be make sure how easy or how hard for you to enter a market then we look into the power of supplier okay power of supplier what is power of supplier simply is how much influence do supplier have over your business do you really depending on uh, raw material from other 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 people or other source for example you are the uh, entrepreneurs who are going to sell yogurt so for yogurt the raw materials is uh, milk so the milk is from your farm or you going to get it from other people other cow farm for the milk so that is will prove how strong uh, your position in term of uh, supplying raw materials so for that uh, you need to answer several questions such as are you dependent on a component to succeed are people buying your product because it's contain x or y from another supplier are the high switching cost to use another firm are there are any substitutes so this kind of question need to be answered okay if you totally or totally relying on your supplier then the supplier have more bargaining power so the raw materials uh, prices is not controlled by you is controlled by the supplier the moment the raw materials is the price of raw materials is increased then it will make directly your cost of production to be increased so that is the reason you need to know who going to be your supplier how depend you are towards your supplier okay now talk about power of buyer who is this buyer definitely this buyer are your customer okay 
So how much influence do buyers or customer have over your business? Are you a community? For example, customer can get what you have from anywhere. Do your buyer of your product have significant negotiating leverage? Are you dependent on one or two buyers for the majority of your business? Are you developing a standard product? Low switching costs to go to something else? Can your buyer threaten to produce your product themselves? Where are the end users eyeballs? So here basically the customer normally we say customer is the king. Customer is our people that we're going to make money. So we have to know who is going to pay for our, my product. So at the, the end of the money from where I'm going to receive. So I have to tackle that customer. Okay, and I have to offer something unique than my competitor so that the customer will come back to me. Beside looking into uh, power of supplier, power of buyer, threat of new entrants, there is serious need for us to understand our direct competitors. Okay, the more energy you put into fighting off competition, the less you have for profitability. Potential for price wars, everyone loses. Subject of game theory. So, it's going to increase the expenditures for marketing and advertising and actor star. Intensity increases where there are mature, slow growth industry. Participants enjoy roughly the same amount of power. Product and services are distinguishable. Fixed costs are high and marginal costs are very low. So sometimes this competition good in a way for average consum cons consumer. Competition tend to lower prices and drive new offerings to the market. And for the market participant, competition always leads better product and profitable market segmentation. Okay, now we are finished. Uh, I'm going to end about industry analysis okay basically we are con conducting this industry analysis to know our strength and our weaknesses where we stand when we compare ourselves with our competitor okay so we already analyze our strength and our weaknesses now talk about competitor analysis how i'm going to analyze my direct competitor indirect competitor and maybe in future a new competitor so competitor analysis is a detailed analysis of a firm's competition. It's definitely going to help a firm understand the position of its major competitors and the opportunities that are available. A competitive analysis grid is a tool for organizing the information of a firm collects about its competitors. How uh, to go about with competitive analysis? Simply, you conduct a research. Okay, for conducting research, please don't use any extra expenses or any extra. Don't uh, create a new or incur a new cost to conduct a research. Okay, this research is just through a observation. Then, second, gather all the competitive information, analyze the competitive information, then determine your own competitive position where you are stand differently or uniquely compared to your direct competitors so to conduct research what i need to do so first simply you have to identify who is your most top three competitors then on what basis am i able to compete with them what is the range of product or services they offer are their product or services aimed at sati satisfying similar target market are my competitors profitable are they expanding or scaling down if they are expanding why they are expanding what make them to expand if they are scaling down why they are scaling down what is the yeah, weaknesses maybe the market is potential but their product that they are offering to the market is not uh, acceptable by the consumer okay how long have they been in business you have to know also, maybe your competitor is 15 years or some competitor is 20 years. Wow, it's good business then. 
maybe your competitor is just newly enter the market two or three years okay what are their positive attribute in the eyes of customer okay why the customer going to the, your competitor so what make them to go again again to the competitor firms or business what are their negative attributes in terms of eyes of customer so that negative input can be a uh, learning point for you to correct or improvise the service or the product that you going to offer how do current customer view us compared to the competition how can i distinguish again how can i distinguish my company from my competitors means that you need to give something very unique to the market not very similar product to the market or similar service to the market do they have a competitive advantage if so what is it what is so special about them okay what is their marketing strategies what is their promotional strategies and what are their pricing structures so this information will definitely help you in enhance your business idea for a sustainable key purpose okay the information about competitor you can gather from attending conference or trade shows purchase competitor product you use your competitor product is similar to your product so you can see the strength of the competitor product as well as the weakness of the competitor product you can also study about them using website or just set up a google or yahoo email alerts read industry related books magazine and website talk to customer about what motivate them to buy your product as opposed to your competitors product this is how you will gather the competitive information after gathering all the information you need to analyze so there is no special software for you to analyze the information is all again 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 by observation okay once you have gathered all of this competitive data you have been able to locate it's now time for analysis analyze to determine product information market share marketing strategy and to identify your competition to identify your competition strength and weaknesses okay so i already conduct the research i already gather the information i already analyze all the information now time for me determine my own competitive position okay so how i'm going to determine is simply identify and discuss key areas of competitive advantage and disadvantage review the competitive environment for your product or services comment on both similar and substitute product or services then summarize the major problems and opportunities facing your firm which may require action issues which should be consider include types of market penetration distribution coverage product line needs price revision and or cost reduction integrate your analysis of the competition with a demographic analysis of your market to develop and implement a marketing strategy that will strengthen your market position that will strengthen you compared to your competitor that will make you sustain in the business for a long time so we already end of the section so i put it here as a attention for all the entrepreneurs out there and for my dearest students your kind your competition can easily can change quickly new players can emerge tomorrow the economy may up swing or down swing at any moment it's only when you clearly understand your competition that you can evaluate your own market position only then can you exploit their weaknesses to your competitive advantage again only then can you exploit their weaknesses to your competitive advantage and seek to improve your own marketing effort okay today we already end our section on industrial analysis and competitive analysis